And does Darren and Ben navigate through the thicket? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you gotta, gotta keep this character going. <laughs> Absolutely. The sun has risen over a marvellous Eildon morning. And after a short stop through the thicket to the beer esky, all hath been refreshed and are heading back out for another fish. Master Navigator Ben pointing out some thicket over to the right of the ship. Backing off the power. That's how close one can come to a tree in a boat. And that over there is where the rich assholes park their vessels. Uh, hey, Christian, right there, is it? That's the one, yeah. Right there. Yeah. The first place we went to was a bit too far away from camp. Deep in conversation, the driver and navigator plot their course. The beer is going, he's having one more sip. Now it's down. Full concentration on the road now. Eyes open wide. We're moving into the thicket. The decision has been made to go over a small tree under the water as the prop will chew it up. If I can just show you, that's the tree under there. And that's what's facing us. This narrator, as I'm sure you are, is utterly enthralled by the prospect of thicketing. The vessel skipper has pointed out a good fishing tree, one which may be used later on. Now it's going to get precarious. And that is the sound of timber on aluminium. What's your name today in this uh, Matthew. I reckon it's more over to the right too. I reckon we we'll get straight through there. And well, then we're back to the river. <laughs> Again. Pretty much. One would suggest another beaching to check the surroundings. Beach right here. On beach, there's beach. And now the vessel has beached for further exploration on the distance to the camp. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs>